Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you may be. It's like in Warlord. The Stash! Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Second video. It's a double header. We got so much to talk about. I'm excited. Can you tell I'm excited? You know I'm always excited. Just, I just, I just love it. I love a, I love the, I love the spice. I love it, the spice. I love the spice. Oh. Why is it spicy? So, what are we here to talk about? Well, if you recall in my last video about this subject, Benefactor's TRO, Temporary Restraining Order, motion got denied by the judge. The Honorable Howard C. Nielsen Jr. whipped out his big old sausage and slapped it on Benefactor's forehead. Called him a smattering idiot. Smattering. That's right. Say it again, baby. Smattering. 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 That's right. So, uh... I mentioned uh, a tinfoil section in my hat in my uh, video, and let's talk about that for a second. Official knowledge of a language or subject. This was great. Ooh, smattering, smattering. Okay. Now, tinfoil hat time, right? This is a win for Thurston. This is a big win for Thurston. So where do we go from here? Ready to put your tinfoil hat on? All right, tinfoil hat, right? All right. Now, what did we look at? We looked at the fact that there were nodes going offline. So online. we go through this whole process, sure. right? With six. So notice here on 1010, both of them have them online. And I mentioned this is the day uh, that the 1010 record online is actually the day that the TRO was, um, was rejected, right? So if we go to the next day, which is October 11th, which would actually would have been October 10th, we notice that Thurston's nodes are mysteriously offline. Now, we have to talk about a couple things here. One, the fact that Benefactor is able to turn off Thurston's nodes would be a pretty serious allegation. And you're right. We're going to talk about it. The other thing is, both of them are spoofing their nodes. They're not actually running 7,000 virtual machines. They are using a script to trick the system into thinking that their nodes are running, which also means that the nodes aren't doing anything. And that's gonna have to be a subject for another day and another video. But let's get into the juicy juice. Why are we talking about this? Well, again, tinfoil hat. Turn off. Tinfoil hat here was that. Oh, that's interesting. Wouldn't they you turned say? off. That's interesting, wouldn't you say? It got so, turned off. Now, the next day. So everything's a day behind, apparently. So, the next day, which would have been October 11th, we see that Benefactor's nodes weren't online. Well, why am I bringing all this up, my friends? Well, it's because, uh, as of the uh, 9th, we had the order of the motion for the TRO, right? We went over that. Then, on the 12th, we had a motion to consolidate cases, which is kind of cool. Uh, one less document for me to have to go over. And we'll look at that real quick. All right, so here you go. This is a motion to consolidate the two cases. So basically, the argument is that they're the same case involving the same parties, and so they're going to be put into the same lawsuit. Conclusion, the plaintiffs respectfully request the court grant this motion. Dated. Okay? The judge granted the motion to consolidate. Okay? Boom. There you go. Not exactly the most interesting thing in the world, but uh, consolidating two cases. So there you go. So now it is all just under one case, that number being uh, this number right here. 2 colon 2 3, excuse me, CV-00589, capital HCN, capital uh, dash Dow. Okay. So that's the, the case number if you guys want to look it up on, uh, on Pacer. Okay, that's the number. Got it? So, back to where we were. What do we have after this? Motion's no longer referred. Okay. Now, whoa, whoa, what's this? Motion for TRO? I thought we already went and did a TRO. Huh, that's interesting. Very interesting. I wonder what that could be. Well, it's right here, my friends. 
Motion for mandatory restraining order to maintain status quo and request for immediate hearing. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. Defendant Wright Thurston and True North moved the court under Rule 65 of the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure for the entry of a temporary restraining order against Plaintiff Benefactor and his capacity as president of Blockchain Game Partners directing him to turn back, or in other words, reverse the suspension of approximately 7,000 gallon nodes that True North owns. Nodes that Benefactor deactivated on October 10th, 2023, depriving True North of millions of gala per day in rewards. Wow, it's almost like that's what I said. It's almost like I was right. That's crazy. Wow. Imagine that. Benefactor turned off Thurston's nodes. That doesn't seem legal. Oh. What? <laughs> turned off. He turned off the nodes. He just flipped the switch. He flipped the little switch. What did I tell you about Benefactor? What have I consistently told you about this guy? And I don't know him. I can just view who he is as a person on the way he speaks to others and the way he acts. And yet again, ladies and gentlemen, I was right. Let's get back into it. Less than 24 hours after this court denied his attempt to attain an R a TRO, Benefactor resorted to a more extrajudicial self-help the court referenced in its order. You remember how much fun I had reading that part, right? That Benefactor was engaging in self-help, which is why he waited two and a half years to sue Thurston. Defendants seek this emergency relief in response to the latest cascade of ongoing unilateral punitive actions that Benefactor has taken against Thurston and True North in a self-professed effort to drain value from Thurston's assets. So these are all facts, baby. Spitting facts. Before and during this litigation. There is no defensible justification, even considering his own self-serving and unproven complaint, to shut off the thousands of nodes that Benefactor concedes are owned by True North. Given that True North has been operating these nodes for at least four months and that Benefactor has been making his false accusations for longer still, the clear and only explanation for this by Benefactor is petty and wanton effort at punishing Thurston for defending himself and exposing Benny's unlawful acts. That's one hell of an introduction. Now, I've been reading a lot today. We're going to skip through it. All you need to know is the factual background. In exchange for Thurston and Benefactor's roles and overseeing, they got all the nodes. We know that. We've established they've gotten 14,000 nodes. Now, what they have done is brought up. Okay, let's talk about this. A letter from Benny to Wright Thurston dated October 10th. Okay, so Benefactor can't claim innocent ignorance on this because he emailed Thurston telling him he turned off the nodes. Okay, and we're going to go over that in a second. But Gala's terms and conditions, which are vaguely referenced in the letter, mention when a user purchases, earns, or receives any NFT or digital reward, the smart contract process, including Gala tokens, the user owns completely and outright. The NFT and or digital reward. So he's trying to tie that into it being a node, which I think I think everyone would agree that nodes are supposed to be owned by the people that purchased them, wouldn't you say? On October 10th, the very next day after the TRO was denied, Benny sent, Benny sent this letter. Okay? References old and irrelevant, uh, irrelevant matters involving blocks lending and Derek Hope and further justifies his shutoff by stating Benny's... Uh, stating that Thurston's alleged daily dumping of millions of Gala damages the Gala Games ecosystem. Now, before we go any further, let's address this. Here is Gala coin market cap. Let's go to 7-day. Okay. Uh, do you see any large dump that's affecting the price? Right here, maybe? Right here? Okay. Uh, let's go back a month. Um, was he dumping right here? Was he dumping right here? Because if he was, it doesn't seem like it was affecting the price. So let's verify. This looks like September 29th to October 9th. Okay? Let's check. All right, this is Benny's. This is Thurston's. So let's take this, copy it, and we're going to go into Etherscan. All right, here's his Etherscan, right? Everybody tracking? Okay, let's look for September. This is October 1st. 
He's definitely sending Gala Games tokens out. What was our date? September 29th through October 9th. So yeah, he's uh, he's selling Gala tokens during this time frame. Um, but the Gala token seems to be just fine. So, uh, I mean, I say just fine. The token's obviously going to hell in a handbasket. But, you know, the point being, I don't think Thurston's the reason that this is happening. If you want to look over here and see the total supply of Gala, there's 27 million total supply with a max supply of 50 billion. 27, excuse me, 27 billion uh, total supply, 50 billion max supply. I don't think him selling millions a day is really affecting it. Circulating supply, 25 billion. I don't think he's making the impact that Benny is claiming he is. So let's go back to the document. Okay. Of course, there was no board proposal regarding this action, no authorization for Benny to take this step, and no effort to adhere to any type of corporate formality that would otherwise be expected and required in the situation. Rather, Benny claims that Gallus' terms and conditions permit him to, act, to take such a tyrannical act, claiming that the company has full discretion to terminate no license if the user has harmed Gala Games in any way. Now, what I want you all to understand, as much as I enjoy picking on Benefactor, I don't like Wright Thurston. I don't know Wright Thurston. It's as simple as that. However, this is setting a dangerous precedent, just like I mentioned with the other restraining order that Benny failed at. It sets a dangerous precedent for Benefactor to choose whose stuff he wants to freeze. He shouldn't be allowed to do that. Not only is he not trustworthy, not only is he irate all the time, not only is he unstable and prone to mood swings, he doesn't have the ability to do it by the company's own bylaws. So you see how this is a problem. Whether wh Whoever side you're on, if you're on a side, regardless of the, the fact is that this shouldn't be happening. And the fact that Benny's doing it is a problem. His problem is going to be my boy, Howard Nielsen Jr., going to whip his old sausage out and <laughs> slap it on Benny's forehead. I guarantee you when the judge sees this, he's not going to be happy. I can all, I, I'm surprised he hasn't, he hasn't rendered a judgment on it yet, to be honest. All right, let's skip around to the legal standard. Okay, it talks about the four elements as the basis for the issuance of the TRO. We went over this in the video with Benefactor's failure. The moving party will suffer irreparable injury. Threatened injury to moving party outweighs any damage to the opposing party. Injunction of issue will not adverse to the public interest. And a substantial likelihood exists that the moving party will prevail on the merits. Okay. And then they go into it that uh, True North being indefinitely suspended is a financial asset and it is a hurt to uh, True North. Let's see. These nodes represent 700 million in valuable assets. Benny should not be permitted to trample upon True North's property interest based on a spiteful whim. I think that's very important. What's more is at issue here is a mounting loss that is indefinite and open-ended since rather than being a snapshot in time of a prior event, Referencing the TRO from the last time, there is no indication as to when, if ever, Thurston's nodes will be turned back on. Moreover, given the vol volatility of cryptocurrency, can fluctuate well day to day. Okay? Economic loss, he quotes all the stuff. We're not going to go over any of this. The next point, defendants are substantially likely to establish that Benny's shutoff was improper. In his letter, Thurston announcing his decision to shut off the nodes, Benny refers generally to certain incidents that he claims justify his extrajudicial action. Thurston and True North, against Thurston and True North, excuse me. True to form in this case, each of his ex of the excuses cited by Benefactor as basis for taking his action allegedly occurred years ago and have not been an issue before this matter was filed. So once again, Benny's going back in the past and dealing with stuff that is not an immediate threat, right? That's the thing. It has to be immediate. And none of this is, okay? We go through, I'm going to skip all this. We're going to get to the business, okay? We're going to get to the business. I could be here reading this. I could be reading this all day. The balance of harms and property favor the TRO. Finally, there's no contest as to the balance of harms. Neither Benny nor BGP will suffer any harm from Thurston and True North exercising rights inherent in node ownership. In contrast, True North and Thurston will su suffer significant harm from Benny preventing them to do so. Public policy clearly favors respect for public property and for supporting citizens' freedom to transact with their own assets. All told, the equitable relief sought here, which again is simply a return to the status quo, is quite narrow and essentially cost-free for the court to order under the circumstances. So this is the other thing. 
He's saying how easy it would be. Just turn it back on. For the foregoing reasons, Benny, uh, Benny, Thurston and Chunwood respectively request the court grant this motion. There we go. Uh, so we have Exhibit A. Uh, he, he says who I am. He says approximately this time he turned it off. And then he got an email. This is a letter regarding Gallinodes and attached the letter. So let's go look at the letter. This is Exhibit 1. Right. This is a letter regarding Gallinodes. So he calls him by his first name. <laughs> Mr. Thurston. And then he calls him Mr. Thurston. So this might must not have been Benny that wrote it. But then it says it's him that wrote it. Anyway. I am writing you to inform you as my capacity as president of Blockchain Game Partners and in your personal capacity as an owner of approximately 7,000 Gallo Nodes to testify you that the company is suspending the operation of your Gallo Nodes. I am also suspending the operation of my own 7,000 Nodes. This was on October 4th. The Nodes turned off after Benny got denied. Under the Gala Node Terms of Service, company has full discretion to terminate no license if the Node user has harmed Gala Games in any way. As you are aware, in the past, the company uh, has made the operational decision to terminate no license of other Node owners for various discretionary reasons. So he claims he's done it before. I'm unaware of this. I would like to see evidence of that. The instant suspension is short of termination and is based upon the allegations representations made in the lawsuit mentioned here. Among other things, you have allegedly caused Galano license to be sold to Blocks Lending, Derek Hope, while keeping proceeds yourself and entities. This is what he's talking about the old, talks about this alleged stolen. You have represented Gala tokens earned that were yours, blah, 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 blah. Uh, using Gala services to buy, sell, transfer stolen objects. Ooh, okay, well, let's read that. Okay, this alleged conduct breaches the Galano's term of service, including prohibitions against selling or reselling the Gala services in a manner that violates any law or contract, or in a way that attempts to circumvent any Gala fees, systems, or rules. Using the gala services to engage in price manipulation? Really, benefactor? Really? You're going to go there? Fraud or other deceptive, misleading, and manipulative activity? Well, if that ain't the pot calling the kettle black, I don't know what is. Uh, using the gala service to buy, sell, transfer stolen items, fraudulently obtained items, items without authorization, or any other legally obtained items, and tricking, defrauding, misleading gala or other users. Should it be judicially determined that you have not engaged in any of these alleged co uh, conduct, the company will reactivate your gala nodes. I understand that you contest these allegations and I have made certain counter allegations and I have managed in mis I have engaged in mismanagement of the company. Your allegations against me, even if proven true, do not appear to constitute breaches of the Gala Nodes terms of service and therefore when I justify suspension of my nodes. Ha ha ha. Benny said he looked into it and he didn't see anything wrong. While well, I'm shocked. I'm terrible. Listen, guys, I can't believe that Benefactor looked into his own misdoings and said there's nothing wrong and it doesn't been it doesn't uh, cause an issue. I, 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 I mean, I believe him. I I, I He's got to be telling the truth. Why would he lie? Why, why would he lie? I mean, come on. Why would he lie? <laughs> Nevertheless, I'm voluntarily suspending operation of my own nodes. So I was right again. I said he did this to make it look like, oh, he's the good guy. Benefactor's not the good guy. And you both know that. You all know that now. They're, neither of them are good. As you know, I began operating my nodes after you began operating your old nodes. Okay. He says, I began operating my nodes after you began operating all your nodes. Now, they're not talking about long-term. They're talking about recent, all right? Because they've always had their nodes on. Uh, the more nodes that are in operation each day, the less gala earned by each node. Since you began operating your nodes, you have sold all of your gala, which is well within his rights to do. This daily dumping of millions of gala damages the gala games ecosystem. According to you, Benefactor, the chart says otherwise. For that reason, I turned on my own nodes to reduce the amount of gala. So he turned on his nodes... This is the kind of good guy that Benefactor is, okay? He's not using his money to buy jet fuel. No, he uses your money to buy his jet fuel. He doesn't use his own money to hurt the ecosystem, okay? It's all about jet fuel, baby, all right? No, because if he can make Wright Thurston get less daily distribution by having his nodes on, he's going to do it. Not that he's going to use that money in any way, shape, or form, or could if he chose to, but he's doing it out of the kindness of his heart. I believe Benefactor, and I think you should too. Unlike you, I have not sold the gala earned by my own gala nodes. The purpose of turning on my nodes was not to enrich myself, but to mitigate the damage you were causing to the gala games ecosystem. I don't believe you. But let's see. Let's go look and see when the last time is Benefactor sold something. Let's see. All right. Two weeks ago, two months ago, we see some gala moving out of here. Then we have some gala moving two months ago from Benefactor on OpenSea. To these addresses, F3, F4. I, I think that's one of his uh, extraction accounts. Oh, here we have a uh, 1.953 gala that just magically appears in his account. So, uh, yeah, he's not he's not moving very much of it. Good, good guy benefactor. He's just sitting on you know 
millions and millions, if possibly billions of Gala tokens that if he wants to uh, mint, he could, right? But he's doing it for you. Don't forget it. With your license suspended, I no longer need to operate my own nodes in order to mitigate the damage to the ecosystem. Therefore, I'm suspending my nodes. All right. Uh, this is the best part, okay? This is in line with our prior agreement that neither you or I would operate our Gala nodes. Does he have that in writing? I've never seen that. If, I, if it's in these documents, I haven't seen it. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but I would like to see that. Is beneficial to the Gala Games ecosystem and responds to community concerns. Pretty sure the community concerns are more about you, Benefactor, but all right, sure. It's all, it, White Thurston's the bad guy. Benefactor did anything wrong. All right, and here's the icing on the cake, a cherry on top. You ready? Should you disagree with the company's suspension, the Gala Nodes Terms of Service set forth a process for resolving any such dispute. Now that is just common. He sent you an email telling you to go fuck yourself. And then he said, you can go through the appropriate channels, though, to appeal it. Even though, obviously, you're not going to allow it to appeal it when you force the suspension anyway. Okay, Benefactor. We got you, baby. Peace out. All right. So, let's go back up to uh, where we were. The letter. He turns off because so this, is all, this is all just stating all the things. Okay. Now, we have to go to Thurston's support. Uh, Declaration of Right Thurston in support of the temporary restraining order. He goes over a lot of the same things, right? And then certificate of service. So that's it. Um, I'm going to keep it as short as I can. We're going to upload this to the file. Uh, again, what do I think? Well, I think it's clear that I was right. Again, um, Thurston won the, won the first battle of TRO. And then Benefactor decided to turn his nodes off. Again, Benefactor saying all these things happened, right? He said, oh, you turned it on four months ago, and I turned mine on four months ago, and you've been dumping daily. But he didn't shut off Thurston's nodes for those reasons until after he lost the TRO. I think that's extremely clear, and I expect my boy Howard Nielsen Jr. to just take his sausage out and... Plop it on Benny's forehead a couple more times. Uh, I look forward to seeing what the results of this TRO is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, it seems pretty cut and dry. Another uh, another situation of Benny doing what he wants because he's right, you're wrong. He knows more than you. You got, listen, you just, you guys don't understand, okay? He's been a factor. He's big brain, okay? You're dumb, dumb. You're stupid, okay? Just like Thurston. You and Thurston, y'all are all stupid, Okay? You got it? Capiche? You tracking? All right? Comprende? All right? You, you, you stupid? I'm doing you a favor by turning your nodes off, dummy. God, such a good guy, Benefactors. I swear, man. Woo! What a nice guy. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them down below. Discord's easy way to get a hold of me. Got links to that down below. I'm going to have the link to this folder down below. If you need me, that's where to get a hold of me. I got links to support the channel if you'd like to also. I hope you're all doing well. I appreciate you being here. Happy Spooktober. I'll be streaming later. I'm liking Warlord. The stash. I love you all. Take care. Bye-bye. It's like in Warlord. The stash. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Ooh, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I want to shout out my Patreons. Patreons from Patreon. And my new YouTube members as well. I got that going. Appreciate all of you. Thank you so very much. Your help has been crucial to keeping me alive and keep streaming and keep helping and hopefully entertaining you along the way. Anything I can do to make it more worth your while, please let me know down below also you can find me on my discord i have my discord server link down below patreon links down below and then membership should be somewhere around here thank you all so very very much i really appreciate you and i look forward to the future and i hope you will come along for this journey with me thank you take care